Yo guys, what is up? It's Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. And, okay, so let's begin this. So you know it's big and black and might possibly give you a heart attack other than my mother. Well, I am talking about the new HTC Evo 4G LTE from Sprint. This device is just one sexy beast. It backs power, performance, aesthetics, everything you can ask for for a device. And it's just purely amazing. So let's take a look at it and let's get this started. So here we are guys with the Sprint HTC EVO 4G LTE. This bolster's device packs both power and aesthetics. It's running the latest version of Android along since 4.0. Taking a quick look at the specs, it has a 1.5 GHz dual core Snapdragon S4 processor with the Adreno 225 GPU, a stunning 720p SOCD2 display, Beats audio integration, 16GB of internal memory, 2GB of which are dedicated to app space, the other 9GB dedicated to your heart's desire. Supports expandable memory of up to 32GB. It also features a high quality camera capable of shooting up to 1080p video, support for NFC, a 2000mAh battery, and will work on Sprint's LTE network, of course, once they launch it. Okay, so taking a look at the device, at the bottom, there are three compatible touch buttons, home, back, and multitask. On the side, a USB port, which also dubs as an MHL port, so you connect it to an HDMI monitor. On the other side, a volume rocker. At the top, in the speaker area, is a notification LED. On the back, you have a glossy plate at the top, which is extremely prone to fingerprints. Underneath it is a mini SD card slot. And yes, the best part of all, the kickstand. Not to digress here, but everyone should have a phone with a kickstand. It gives you the versatility to keep your hands free while watching videos and web browsing. And for those of you with dirty minds, I'm talking about the convenience of having your hands free to eat dinner or type something of that sort. What's great about the spring-loaded kickstand, you can prop it either side so you can charge your phone while having your kickstand out, something you couldn't do with the original Evo. Okay, if there was only one reason to buy this phone, it would be for the screen. The 720p resolution screen is beyond belief. Honestly, I was thinking of going with the Galaxy Nexus because I thought Super AMOLED was all the rage these days. Yeah, as soon as I turned this on, I was blown away. The colors are so crisp, the viewing angles are spectacular. And guess what? I can finally see the screen in direct sunlight. Trust me, looking at the screen through the camera does no justice. You need to see it in person, and the font on web pages looks great. Not too small, not too pixelated, just stunning. Just to compare, look at the differences just between my Evo 3D with its first generation SOCD. A huge improvement, definitely worth it. So obviously, this phone runs Sense 4.0. Now, I could take a whole two videos trying to cover the nuances of Sense 4.0. However, I would say this. In my honest opinion, HTC did a good job with this. I no longer see a substantial lag in the interface. Everything is smooth and it adds a very nice touch. I actually like the multitasking menu on Sense. It's unique and very different, and that's how Android should be. Talking about graphics, the Adreno 225 chip does a really good job at handling games. They all run super smooth, which really wasn't the case with my Evo 3D. Overall, the quality is excellent and the speeds are great. Of course, we'll be reviewed without benchmarks. Benchmark-wise, this device does great. Although it doesn't have the quad-core Tegra processor as a distance cousin to HTC One X, it really packs the performance. As you can see, my Quadrant benchmark score is over 4,000. Okay, saving the best for last, camera. Honestly, this is the best cell phone camera out there. First off, the software on it is amazing. The quick switch from video to pictures is very convenient. Also, the first mode HD has included is awesome. And let me tell you, quality, quality, quality. Here's a photograph I quickly snapped and the quality is amazing. Even after you zoom in, the quality is not attenuated, pixels aren't lost. The photo and video quality is excellent. If you want to see more pictures and videos that I took on the phone, just check out my Facebook page because I'll upload them more over there. Now before we end this, let's talk about the battery. We must remember that this is a smartphone and therefore, if you want to go back to days of surviving 3 days on one charge, get a dumb phone. Because hardly any smartphone on stock battery will achieve that nowadays. With that said, the battery left life on this is very well in my opinion. So the big question, should you get this phone? In the end, I would personally say yes. It offers so many cool features in which you just cannot simply pass up. So this phone is available through Sprint sometime in the near future, hopefully. And yeah, so thanks for watching and tune in for another galvanizing video. Thanks.